Hey all and thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a ghost town located in the Inyo Mountains off of Cerro Gordo Road out of Lone Pine, California that plays host to an assortment of abandoned mine sites recognized for its role in the first significant silver strike in Owens Valley and rumored to be roamed by all manner of ghostly presence. Are you prepared to brave the history and hauntings of Cerro Gordo? Historically, European settlers first arriving to lands now holding Cerro Gordo were met with heavy resistance from tribes native to the region. However, the establishment of Fort Independence in 1862 would allow for the expansion of the young mining town and would result in the expulsion of the native populace. Initial silver discoveries in the area are credited to Pablo Flores, who, in 1865, would establish a mining and smelting operation near the summit of Buena Vista Peak that started as nothing more than a primitive setup, utilizing adobe oven pits, trenches, and a humble array of tools. And in 1868, pulled in by the area's abundance of Galena ore, one Mortimer Belshaw would transport the first wagon load of silver from Cerro Gordo to Los Angeles and would utilize his profits to procure his own smelter. Over time, Mortimer's smelter would come to be recognized as the best in the region, and eventually, Belshaw would even fund the plotting of a route up the mountain, which would become known as Yellow Road due to its atypical coloring. In 1907, high-grade zinc was discovered within the locale. By 1912, Cerro Gordo had grown to become the largest operation producing zinc carbonates in the whole of the country, and in 1916, the town site would shed its steam-powered roots and would welcome the addition of its first electrical lines. By 1920, all of 10 miners remained locally, all working at silver lead ore. By 1938, a majority of mining operations had ceased, and over time, the town of Cerro Gordo would slowly dry up and would turn into the ghost town we know today. More recently, in 2018, all 336 acres of Cerro Gordo were purchased by entrepreneurs Brent Underwood and John Beer, who planned on keeping the property open for tourism while preserving its expanse. And in 2019, a former high school teacher from the ghost town's past would be recognized as the only remaining miner in the area after having, from 1997 and onward, collected silver to sell to tourists all the while searching for more profitable veins. Sadly, on June 15th of 2020, the American Hotel, Ice House, and a residence were all destroyed in a fire. However, plans were quickly put in place for their reconstruction and refurbishment. Into the present, Cerro Gordo remains privately owned, with access granted only by special permissions, and totes several original buildings, including its iconic general store. Chillingly, through the region's settlement, a group of early prospectors were ambushed by a native party, resulting in three of the five being killed outright and in the other two being held for a time, before being released and warned never to return. After its formation, the old mining town was lawless and hosted gunfights, shootouts, and all manner of questionable activity, with bullet holes still visible in its buildings and a mysterious blood stain on the floor of the old saloon. And at one point, a mine collapse would trap around 30 Chinese laborers, whose bodies were never recovered and remain where they were left, and local tales tell the whole of this aged ex-community is haunted by a number of restless spirits, resulting from its often violent past, with those frequenting its bounds reporting disembodied voices and whispers heard on the winds, footsteps that emanate from empty spaces, the phantom smell of cigar smoke, and old-timey music with no discernible source. The aforementioned June 15, 2020 fire that consumed the American Hotel and two other buildings is suspected by some to have been caused by supernatural forces. Incidentally, the American had opened its doors on June 15, 1871, marking it as the oldest standing hotel in the state before its charring exactly 149 years later to the day. Additionally, the site's caretaker would document sighting a shadowy figure moving through the hotel's kitchen just one night prior. 
also reported across Cerro Gordo are objects sighted moving on their own, doors that open and close by themselves, orbs and strange mists visible to the naked eye, and encounters with full-bodied apparitions in old-fashioned clothing, and a handful of informal investigations have yielded high EMF levels, spine-tingling EVPs, floating lights caught on camera, phantom gunshots and knocking noises, and extreme temperature fluctuations. Thanks for joining us on this Paranormal Pit Stop. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.